Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to take a look at the iPod Nano 7th generation. I've been wanting to get one of these in for a long time and do a few videos on it because among the traditional music-based iPods, this is fairly unique. It has Bluetooth and a lightning port. Now of course there is the iPod Touch, but that's an iOS device that sits with the iPhone and the iPad in terms of its power and abilities. But among the traditional music-based iPods, this really is pretty unique. So today we're going to be looking at power. Does the Nano's lightning port output power, or does it only intake power to charge its battery? Let me show you what I mean. Maybe you've seen one of these little fans before that you plug into your iPhone. You just stick it in the lightning port, and it starts spinning around. That simple. Now Apple has a lot of devices with a female lightning port and a battery, but that doesn't mean they're going to power this fan. For instance, here's the new Siri remote. Nothing. How about AirPods charging case? Nothing. Let's try the magic trackpad. Also nothing. So what do you guys think? Do you think the Nano will fire up this fan if I plug it in? Let's see. Yep, it sure does. I even got one of these little things here. It's a UV light for killing germs like on a keyboard or if you get a cut or something like that. I'm not sure how much stock I put in this actually killing germs, but uh, the Nano does power it up. So pretty cool. It can output power. So let's move on to what you're really here to see. Okay, so this is a first generation Apple Pencil and you charge it by taking the male lightning connector and plugging it into the lightning port on the iPad. And then the battery indicator will get a little lightning bolt on it showing that it's charging. About a year ago, I saw someone on YouTube that actually showed that if you plugged one of these into your iPhone, you could also charge it as well. There's the little lightning bolt. That got me wondering, could the iPod Nano 7th generation charge an Apple Pencil? Let's check it out. And there it is with the lightning bolt charging. So I did a little experiment. I had the pencil at 80% uh, like it is here and I put it into the Nano fully charged and I let it sit for an hour and I came back and the pencil was at 100% and the Nano's battery was down to somewhere between one fourth and one third of the total. So it took quite a toll on the battery but it did charge the pencil and bring it all the way up to 100% and I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so what if we want to use the Apple Pencil on the Nano? Well, nothing happens. That's because the Apple Pencil only works with special iPads that have a special screen and the ability of the Pencil to pair with that iPad over Bluetooth. However, let me show you this. This looks an awful lot like the Apple Pencil, but only costs $13 on Amazon instead of $99. It is an active stylus. And while it doesn't have all the features of the Apple Pencil, it does do one thing that the Apple Pencil doesn't, which is work with any capacitive screen. So, as you can see here, there's an on and off switch, and if I have it off, nothing happens. I might as well be dragging a Newton stylus across the screen, but if I turn it on, well, then it works. And get into music, scroll through songs, go into photos, get back out. Now how does this one charge? Well, it has a female micro USB port. Now I have a lightning to male micro USB cable that is used on the Shure microphone I actually make my videos with and it is an MFI certified cable. I did try to get the Nano to charge this but unfortunately I was never able to get it to go into charge mode. So long story short, you can charge an Apple Pencil with the Nano, but you can't use it. And you can use a generic Active Stylus with the Nano, but you can't charge it. Okay, just a fun short little video here today. In the next video, I'm gonna do a deeper dive on lightning accessories, and we'll see what works with the Nano 
and what doesn't. And we'll find out if this Nano is an equal family member with Apple's lightning devices or if it's just the red-headed stepchild. So stay tuned for that. That'll be next month. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. It does help out. But that's all for now. Take care.